Hey everyone, gold can be a rare commodity in Lost Ark, but that doesn't mean that it has to be. I'm going to give you one method that I use to farm gold on a daily basis that you can use to bring thousands of silver every single week. To do this, you're going to want to go to your stronghold and make sure that it's level 15 or higher. If you haven't already, make sure that you go to the lab tab and research these Kaldar fusion materials and then go to your workshop. Under the special tab, you can see that you can craft these things and these are used to hone your materials in tier 2. Now this next step involves a little math, but you'll see that each of these ways that you can create the Kaldar materials, whether through hunting, fishing, or excavating, they require a certain amount of rare, uncommon, and common materials. So what you want to do is do a little math. What I've done is I went to the marketplace, seen how much these bundles of 10 are going for, and for the common materials it's bundles of 100, and I've boiled down the price of each individual material that you'll need. Once you're done calculating the cost of these materials and you add in the crafting cost that's based from the stronghold, you'll be able to find out your profit margin. For this time, I went ahead and looked at the market 8 times 30 because we're making 30 Kaldar fusion materials. That's 240. So basically, I need to make sure that my cost in crafting this material is going to be lower than 240 and then I'll come away with a nice low profit. And you also want to factor in that 5% market tax just so that you're as accurate as possible with the profit you're making. So after doing some math, I decided that fishing was going to be the most profitable or out for me to go on my server I'm not going to reveal which one it is you'll probably be able to figure it out from previous videos so make sure you go watch them <laughs> but um anyway rare material price total was about 13 and a half gold the uncommon material price was about 7.2 and the common was 21.6 stronghold crafting cost is 79 and my market selling price at the time was 240 per batch, which gave me a profit after the tax uh, whenever I calculated it out. It's about 112 gold per batch that I'm making. And consider that if you have enough action energy and enough starting gold and also the fact that I have double workshop slots just from upgrading it in the stronghold. Um, and I can make 10 of these materials every time I do it, which means that I'm spending about 9 to 10 hours to do each batch. This method gives me a little bit over 224 gold per hour. And the best part about this method is that it's completely AFK as long as you set it up. So as long as you log in every 10 hours or however often you want to, you could even just set this up before you go to bed at night and wake up and all your profit will be there as long as you sell it at a decent price then you can make some passive gold pretty easily. In fact, at the end of that 10 hours, you should have about 2,240 worth of gold. And given that the profit will change depending on the server and how the market's doing on each server, and you know some servers really have a good price of materials and some don't. So it's really up to you to do the math and make sure that it's going to be profitable for you. But I found that at least on my server, Kaldar Fusion materials are pretty profitable. And also you can apply the same thing if you just want to do Oreja uh, fusion materials, you can do that as well. That's the tier three material. But yeah, hopefully this guide helps. Uh, it's a great passive method that I found for myself. And I think that you'll find a lot of use out of it too. Let me know if you did in the comments down below and make sure you like and subscribe for more gold farming methods as I do have a few in mind that I would like to post here on the channel if you guys would have them. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I've been OSK, y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.